so many others. So thank you all for joining us. I am sure I've missed on some uh, uh, very, uh, you know, essential either all of you make the UAE cultural sphere what it is and the, uh, uh, I think the global cultural sphere what it is. So thank you so much for joining us. I expect Her Excellency uh, to be uh, joining us uh, any minute now, uh, but please continue writing your questions uh, on the chat. Um, I need to mute Susie. Uh, and that, there you go. Thank you, Susie. You've unmuted yourself. Um, so maybe uh, a, a couple of things. I will be asking Her Excellency from 7 to 7.30 a, a series of questions. I will field questions from you. And um, I hope this can be a conversation. Can anyone who sees Noor al Kabi just let me know that she's entered the, uh, the chat room because there's 100 plus people and it takes me a while to, uh, to go through all the names. Um, maybe a little bit about the background image. Can you guys see the background image here? I'll move, I'll move aside. Uh, this is a painting by an Iraqi artist called uh, Faisal, Faisal Laibi Sahi. Uh, and uh, it's one of his uh, Baghdad cafe uh, scenes. And it's from 2014, I believe. So at least, you know, some of you have much more interesting backgrounds than I do. Um, so that's, that's it, basically. Um, so the first question I will be asking uh, Her Excellency is about how cultural institutions are coping. Um, and, and again, if you write any question on the chat, we will be fielding that question to Her Excellency as well. Basil Hadi, congratulations on your new song and your new video. It's a, it's a fantastic video. You guys should watch it. So one of the a few um, a few weeks, I think, is also something I'd like to to put to Her Excellency is, and I'll be taking over your computer screens for a, for a second, is uh, investing in uh, in culture. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but the UAE uh, Ministry of uh, Culture, of US Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation has uh, just uh, announced a major purchase worth 1.5 million dirhams, about $400,000 uh, of uh, art from the UAE, including Emirati and non-Emirati artists. And this has garnered uh, international attention, obviously being covered in publications such as Art Forum. And I think this is one way that the UAE has tried to mitigate the situation for uh, artists in, in the country, uh, which is an initiative I'd like to see replicated elsewhere. Okay. Oh, there we go. We have Her Excellency joining us. Spotlight video and pin the video. Um, <coughs> Your Excellency, it's a, it's a pleasure having you uh, join us. Um, can you hear me, Your Excellency? Okay, I have to unmute her. It shows you what a bad host I am. Lahva. I have to unmute you. Okay. So now you're unmuted. <laughs> Thank you for unmuting me. Sorry, it's, uh, I ha I'm still getting the hang of this. Um, by the way, this is also my college chat page, so uh, a couple of my students might be joining as well. Uh, Your Excellency, we've had uh, 30 minutes in which we've chatted with people across the UAE from Dubai, Abu Dhabi and Sharjah talking about the situation that we're going through. Um, and we have also have a lively chat going on on the side. I'm not sure if you can see it. Um, I just, I, I, I can see just my face and my face again in a smaller box. So, yeah. Okay, that's because I spotlighted you. Um, okay. Okay, so I will read to you some of the questions that are coming up, but maybe I can, uh, I'm going to make you a co-host, by the way, make co -host, just to give you more powers okay. and more authorities. So, oh. <laughs> so Your, Your Excellency, it is a, uh, again, a pleasure to have you here. Um, my first question to you is, how are the UAE's cultural institutions 
according to your knowledge, how are they adapting to the current uh, crisis? Are you pleased with how fast we have been adapting? Um, do you have any words of encouragement for them? Uh, first of all, Sultan Mashkur, thank you so much for hosting me today. Um, and I can see some faces, um, but not, uh, I believe, everyone. Um, hello, everyone. Um, uh, it's great and crazy to connect. Um, um, what, what is my first time to be in your cultural majlis, but this is the first time. So we have to thank uh, COVID uh, for this. Um, and, and, and in terms of, uh, uh, and in terms of, what are we doing? And, and I think we are in a mode right now, and and this is the mode that I want to start with uh, everyone to just uh, stick in their head. We're we're in a mode of adapting and modifying. Um, uh, all of us uh, here, uh, whether we're in the financial sector or the retail sector, and I think this is where it's a big lesson for all of us. Uh, yet, when we look at the cultural scene, um, we've been uh, looking at more of an abundance in terms of what culture is providing to us, in terms of what performance, in terms of art pieces we, we see at the first time, in terms of sometimes also people walking in exhibitions for the first time. Uh, it's how Culture is transcending beyond the borders due to the digital kind of a force we have right now. Um, yet, uh, the bigger question is, uh, I mean, we have two questions. The bigger question is, how are we going uh, to be after this? And uh, most importantly, how are we sustaining the most important um, businesses or, or spaces or individuals who are, uh, in, who are part of the creative and cultural sector? Um, in the UAE, we, uh, last year we started with a study to measure the size of the creative and cultural uh, industry to understand uh, how it's impactful, how it, how it can also help, you know, uh, to look at how it's diversifying the country. So, Van, uh, people say culture and arts is nice to have, to hang in, in, in offices or whatever it is and to buy some arts, but I think it's more than that. Um, I don't have an answer now because we are uh, now looking at a framework uh, to gather information from subsectors and sectors to under understand who is being affected, and I'm sure there are many are being affected, uh, and looking at also how the government and its time, where not just the government of the UAE, I think uh, all our sectors and many uh, sectors are looking at how the government will step in and support uh, the sustainability of it. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, I have, I have a tough question, uh, if I may. The, the fact is that all of us who work in the creative field, uh, many of us are surviving uh, hand to mouth. Many of us are on um, check to paycheck. Many of us work as freelancers. Many of us don't have uh, uh, a year or two worth of savings that can sustain us. And so, um, how do we, how do we mitigate this? How do we? Uh, what can the UAE do? to encourage people in the creative field and tell them, yes, you are part of the community or part of the society, we need you here, we need you to stay here. We saw that Dubai, for example, and some other Emirates, Abu Dhabi, and I think Sharjah as well, is decreasing the licensing fees, is allowing people uh, to um, maybe defer payments sometimes. So how important is, is, the, is this freelance creative community to the UAE? I believe I, I believe everyone is important uh, in the creative and cultural sector, and specifically freelancers. Um, I, I mean, the smaller business, uh, uh, the smaller businesses definitely are the businesses, and the medium ones will be affected in a way. Uh, and here's where, uh, as you can see, there are the measures that are taken in a local uh, government perspective, as you mentioned, from rent, from soon VAT, from uh, uh, I hope also utilities. Um, Sultan, I want everyone to know that we've been having uh, hours of meeting every day with the Ministry of Economy to just uh, gather information as much as possible to understand how can we also um, look at what fits the, 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 the creative sector as, as the retail sector. You know, we have, uh, we're similar in many aspects in terms of sustainability, yet the most important thing is that we've been always doing it and yani the, the difficult way, the red tape way, the bureaucracy way. Um, 
so I'll just give you, a, maybe it's a silly example. Um, having people just commute from Sharjah to Fujairah to Dubai to Abu Dhabi for a 30 minutes meeting or waiting uh, or having, you know, uh, three contracts and preparing contracts with procurement for three months to get the job done. Yet, um, now we're looking into how can we offer freelancers and artists and creatives just a very straightforward way that we can commission their work without that such a long process. Um, it's time that we ask ourselves questions and I think it's time to also for all of us uh, to go to our stakeholders and leadership and say, okay, this is the way we want to do business right now. Freelancers were affected. This is the way we want to get freelancers to do work for the minister office, for example. Uh, why would I wait for the for 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 such lengthy procurement processes when the creatives are out there? So I think this is an opportunity, Sultan. We've been uh, always um, complaining about uh, you know the way business is done in a, in a in a startup or setting up an office or whatever it is. Yet for now, I think it's. It's just for us to to start looking at the quick ones and most importantly um after this not going back to square one the way we used to do work yeah. Th that's going to be the true pandemic i mean if we're if we're going to go back to the way we we used to do things yeah that's really a great point thank you so much and you guys heard it first here that there could be an announcement soon about vat perhaps vat Relief. I want to take a question from uh, the, the page here. There's a gentleman called Faisal al Rashti from Zayed University, and he says he talks about the importance of uh, cultural initiatives that focus uh, on children. So, uh, is this something that you're also keeping in mind, or is it mostly for adult catered? Well, um, if we're going to talk about children today, uh, Jamil Art Center um, uh, just launched a beautiful book, uh, bilingual in Arabic and English, talking about uh, COVID and how to communicate it to children. Um, so, um, I, you know, you just go to their page and you can download uh, such a, a great digital book. Um, um, uh, and. Uh, uh, and it's just, I'm very impressed with Zayed University students. Uh, I'm the president as well over there, and we have 100% attending classes and enjoying classes. I attended a few classes. Yet, um, I think with the, with the content creation, yes, uh, we are trying to uh, now work with media companies, um, uh, m mostly local media companies, uh, for addressing uh, such social impact and how to deal with kids. I mean, we, we're not doing it alone, we're doing it through the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Youth and the National Media Council. Um, before you join the conversation, Your Excellency, I had mentioned that the UAE Ministry uh, of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation had announced a significant uh, purchase of 1.5 million dirhams worth of art and again, the message of the UAE is one of inclusivity because it wasn't only Emirati citizen artists, but also artists by long by by UAE-based artists. So, will we be seeing more of these initiatives of the government entities backing such purchases? I know this is a different ministry, but it's still the federal government uh, backing a, a, a local community in the UAE. No, it's okay. We, I, we work very closely with His Excellency Zeki um, I, 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 you know, I salute such a uh, step. Uh, I think this encourages us to look at how can we get uh, more of supporting local artists, whether Emiratis or non-Emiratis. You've been seeing how the UAE is, is, more, is uniting more than ever. We've been always united when it comes to coexistence and, and living and working with different nationalities from different backgrounds. But I mean, you've been hearing them now singing the national anthem uh, out of their balconies. Uh, and this is something the conference Sheikh Mohammed Zayed mentioned yesterday in a very touching speech. Uh, so um, I, I bought some art from an Emirati artist. I, I can't say who, but I, I bought some art from an Emirati artist. So I, you know, I'm trying to contribute also for, for how can we uh, uh, make uh, make sure that, there, that you know the, the wheel is spinning in a way. So going back to what 
we would like to do is you have also the Dubai culture recently uh, announced to the ideathon where it would get ideas from artists but I think it's time for the patrons of art to step in for the uh, for individuals who feel that they can support a certain gallery or a certain study uh, a research study or a scholarship whatever we can do now together i think it is the time to to support that from as we mentioned from the beginning so far is it from a freelancing uh, job to uh, an art piece by a local artist uh, uh, I, I think this is something that is easy to do um, uh, and uh, and yeah and uh, and from a from a framework perspective i don't want to uh, sound that we're you know, I don't want to sound like we're complicating things, but we're currently asking questions to great nonprofit organization we have here in the UAE, to certain uh, galleries, to certain as well uh, small uh, and medium businesses that are part of the creative sector. Uh, we are gathering all of such information to go back with a framework uh, to the government and to the local government as well. Uh, uh, we, uh, so fun, it's important to, to look at the quick ones buying arts and the longer sustainable kind of, uh, uh, um, you know, wins that we, we need to focus on for the next three to six months. Thank you. I'll just read a couple of comments from the chat uh, and give you, a sec give you a chance to catch your breath as well. Uh, we have uh, Reem Fadda from the Abu Dhabi Cultural Foundation who says that the Abu Dhabi's Children Library will be will set up a full online platform with access to workshops, free online books, storytelling events within a week on its website and online platform. So uh, make sure that you check out Abu Dhabi's Children's Library. Reem Fadda can perhaps share a link here if possible. Bill Bragan, who spoke uh, just a minute ago, um, is, is, is talking is mentioning the importance of commissioning performance pieces, uh, musical compositions, uh, plays, and etc. Et some uh, some good comments here from uh, Bill. Um, but uh, I'd like to ask you maybe a non uh, a non uh, UAE government related question. What is this painting behind you? Tell us a little bit about it, please. Um, just going back to the to Bill's point, I would like to thank Reem Fadda, uh, my childhood place, where uh, we've been reading uh, books and we've been playing video games and Mujamat Nagafi. So thank you for the initiative. Uh, from a concert perspective, Bill Bragan is going to also streamline uh, wonderful uh, streamline wonderful concerts. Uh, the Ministry of Culture is going to streamline for the first time an Asir Shimla concert. Uh, that never been broadcasted before uh, Friday on YouTube. Uh, he performed it last year in Erbil in Iraq. Um, uh, and you know how Iraq have a very dear heart, a very dear place in my heart. Now talking about this art piece, uh, I'm sure it's uh, Fadul Min Indik Sultan, you're, you're the nosy one. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a Samir Rafi piece. Uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's one of the modern artist, uh, he's an Egyptian modern uh, artist, it's a, a 1973 piece, uh, he's one of my favorites from Egypt, um, I like his uh, evolution post traveling out of Egypt uh, when he resi resided in Paris, uh, he, uh, you know, he's, he's just, uh, he's just one of my favorites and this is one of the pieces I have, but now I have to focus on new work from local artists based in the UAE or outside the UAE and I think it's uh, you know it's, it is the time I have to I have to comment on two windows I'm seeing here one is Karo Hat. Uh it feels like he's in the Bahamas and one is uh, uh, Mosul I wearing the Tarbush so I, I just I just needed to comment on those both both windows that I have in front of <laughs> if I may, uh, Your Excellency, uh, Mosul I uh, is a uh, mutual friend, Umar Muhammad. Um, his question is, would the UAE consider supporting Italy uh, in, in its recovery of the cultural sphere, which is obviously heavily affected by the current crisis? And he thanks the UAE and yourself. You visited Iraq and uh, the UAE support uh, for Mosul, the rebuilding the historic mosque there. But he says, would we consider helping uh, Italy perhaps in the future? Um, this is a question from Omar Mohammed. I think it's, it's a great question. Um, I mean, it's, uh, 
it's a time that we should, you know, it's an easy to decision to decide in terms of who to help in such times. Um, uh, and with, uh, you know, it, it really breaks our heart to see what Italy is going through or what Spain is going through or what uh, Serbia went through uh, with the earthquake and again with the, you know, with, uh, with the pandemic. Um, and I feel maybe, I, I'm sure after this, uh, we will sit as a more of unified nations and I would rather also look at our seat at the UNESCO of how can we work on, on getting uh, you know, the support done. Uh, I think with, with, you know, with partners such as Elif Foundation, such as the UNESCO, uh, such as uh, you know, a museum fund, this is where we will be able to support one another. Um, and I feel it will be more effective as well because you're not just looking at the physical build of things, but also the human capacity build that uh, we're all currently, as we speak, work is, is, uh, is being delayed in Mosul, uh, yet um, the mosque, Nuri Mosque, looks so beautiful uh, with cleaning the rubbles and, um, and you know, I, and I hope, you know, we will be able to see it uh, in a few years with the two churches um, just uh, thriving with, with life and, and beautiful culture and beautiful Muslims enjoy, enjoying their town. Your Excellency, uh, I have a question from uh, the national uh, reporter Alexandra Chavs, who asks, uh, could Her Excellency share from her personal experience and perspective the importance of art and culture in her own life? And why is it vital to keep that sector alive in the UAE and around the world? It's a personal question, if that's okay. Sure. Um... Well, um, I've been always an, an avid lover of, of movies and, and music. Um, uh, uh, art is something that I started maybe um, knowing more of like 10 or 10 years ago. Um, it's just, uh, it's just a way, I mean, it's just one of the, you know, I worked in the, I worked in the energy sector. And I worked, of course, now I'm working in the government sector. And uh, I worked in a, in, a, in a more of a political sector for a year. Um, yet nothing bonds us together more than art. Um, nothing makes us uh, talk to one another, even if... Um, uh, it's, um, you know, it's, it's the way, I, you know, you wake up and you listen to Afairuz, it just changes your mood. Uh, you wake up... Uh, or, or listen to um, Sultan listens, listens to a BBC pod, you know, podcast in the morning. I mean, that will not change my mood. You know, it's just a, so Beirut will change my mood and will make me, uh, you know, uh, look forward for my day. Uh, so, so I think when I growing up, uh, go, growing up in, in Bobby and uh, visiting the cultural foundation, we had our art classes there. Um, we read books there. Uh, it was the place where I felt um, I traveled to many places at the same time. Uh, so it definitely made me um, maybe think better, perform better, uh, and understand that even if we're different, it's okay. Um, it's, uh, uh, I think this is where, where art affected me while growing up and uh, now, do, uh, now working and working in, in projects that I'm proud of and, and the, my country is, is, is supporting as well. I think this uh, comment or the, your answer also ties into what Maura James from uh, Harvard is talking about the importance of uh, culture uh, to our identities and how it is possible that this will change now with, with the current climate. Um, maybe another personal question is, what are some of your favorite museums internationally? Uh, I know that you are biased to UAE museums and art institutions, but let's say internationally some of your favorite museums and maybe one or two of your favorite artworks in these museums? Um, uh, definitely my favorite uh, uh, museum is, uh, you know, the Met in New York. Uh, and um, I was, al I, I get always uh, mesmerized by, by Hopper uh, paintings. Uh, I remember going when I, when I first uh, got appointed to be a minister, I had a meeting with the director and one of the beautiful paintings of Hopper was in his office. I said, how, how dare you have this painting in your office? It has to be out there for public to see it. Um, 
Uh, this is one of my favorite museums. Um, I, of course, um, I, I'm a I'm also I'm a huge fan of, of the Louvre Museum in Paris. Uh, Dhabi is, of course, Louvre Dhabi is a is a more of a futuristic and a, a new museum that I'm proud of. Um, I'm more into uh, many small museums in southern places, like in southern France or uh, certain uh, small towns in Italy. Um, I, I I like boutique museums, to be honest with you. Uh, Getting lost in a museum is something that I don't enjoy that much. Um, and the last exhibition of uh, Leonardo da Vinci and, and Louvre was, you know, was superb. Although many people were against uh, the way it was curated, but I think it was a superb uh, exhibition. Did I answer the question? Yeah, yes, you did. You did. So, so we, we know that you like Edward Hopper. So when I share that. Oh, and uh, yeah, the artist, my favorite artist, uh, from the Marathi artist, uh, Ahmed Ahmed Ibrahim is one of my favorite artists. If I can uh, uh, just, uh, you know, uh, mention him and uh, uh, when it comes to uh, artists from the region, Samir Rafi uh, is one, uh, Gazbia is one, uh, and uh, I'm also uh, a fan of uh, uh, that the uh, yeah. this behind me. Yes, I know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Your Excellency, we have a. Uh, it's not a, a, it's, it, I won't ask the question, but Kamil Al Asmar uh, is saying that would the, would the government consider? I don't expect an answer now, but he said, would the government consider uh, a plan to support entrepreneurs with direct financial support in order to retain? talent in the UAE and avoid layoffs, um, especially with um, major banks and institutions that seem to be very conservative and maybe almost reluctant with, with handing out loans. I don't expect an answer now, but this is what the community is talking about when architects and artists and the creative community meet. They think about what can the government, uh, federal government, local government do, um, would they consider direct financial support, uh, easing the um, loaning uh, uh, regulations for, for entrepreneurs, maybe deferring payments. Is this something that the UAE would consider doing? Again, I don't expect an answer now. I think uh, it's a very valid question. Um, we are, as we speak, we've been having weekly meetings with uh, cabinet meetings uh, with different ministers. Uh, the Minister of Economy is leading a task force uh, to look at how are we tackling everything when it comes to retaining jobs, when it comes to people, uh, you know, maybe staying at home, not require, there's no job for them currently, but again, how, how, what kind of talents we have out there? What, uh, you know, which, are, which sectors are uh, affected mostly than other sectors? Uh, looking at, as mentioned from the beginning, there are ways to ease uh, maybe the pain of, uh, of this kind of slow uh, few months because of the pandemic, uh, yet we need also to look at a full plan of who's out there, uh, what kind of job, especially, I'm, I'm speaking from the creative and cultural sector because this is what we're looking for, but we're also using the same methodology that the, the Minister of Economy is using. We're all in the uh, we're on the same task force to to go back to the government and ask for how can we support and sustain certain businesses uh, um, and you know uh, individuals. Um, so um, soon you're going to hear from the government. Uh, I can't say when, but uh, there is uh, there is an urgency. Um, uh, and there's also, um, you know, leaders who are making sure that we are not that quiet when it comes to sustaining uh, our economy and business and talents within the UAE. Um, there's so many questions. I'll just read two or three of them. Uh, Faisal Yafai is asking about how can we make it easier for collectors outside the region to collect and purchase art? I think uh, Faisal, just before the conversation, and, uh, Shared about shared how galleries in Tirkal and other galleries are making the art available through virtual tours. Uh, my former student from Abu Dhabi uh, at Georgetown, Abdul Aziz Al Falahi, 
is ask, is talking about the importance of the the importance of um, of the cultural sphere field to the UAE economically. And I actually actually wrote a paper for for my class about this. The 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 Louvre Abu Dhabi had attracted a million people. Many of them were tourists. These are individuals who come and spend money. So culture uh, obviously is an important. Um, uh, contributor as well. We haven't got the numbers yet, I think, but it's an important contributor to the UAE economy, and I think it's only growing in importance. Am I right, Your Excellency? No, yes, absolutely. Um, you know, Sultan, uh, I mean, I I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but this is where, um, you know, a study of the creative and cultural industry has to, you know, has to be there. Uh, I mean, we're, we're, we're done with it. Uh, we do have a number of the size of it. It's a big number and it's an important number and it's a number that will make everyone, you know, who's sitting on the table saying, no, 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 this is an important industry. Yes, it's, you know, we're, we're spending more money than what we're, you know, of how much we're getting back, but it is one of the most important industries. Um, and, I, and I feel it's, you know, it's, you know, 10 years ago, you know, when, when, when you talk about art and you talk about cultures and you talk about, about galleries, uh, I feel it was a different kind of a game back then, uh, whether when we're talking right now with what, uh, you know, uh, entities like, uh, you know, Sharjah Art Foundation is doing, uh, you know, uh, uh, Dubai Culture, Abu Dhabi Culture, DCT, um, uh, you know, you have Al-Qasmi Foundation, you have, you know, we, I mean, in the UAE, I mean, D3, uh, Surkal Avenue, um, and also the educational institution as, such as NYU Abu Dhabi, uh, ZU, AUS, I think there's just, just a very strong um, ecosystem that is there. Uh, yet for us, how do we take this ecosystem and this kind of a full journey of a business or a student or a talent uh, and make it uh, and make it whole, you know, and make it as a as a as a as a number that is always there with decision makers that will always continue to support and we feel it's important that we continue to support uh, um, and and with what i mean with such times it's uh, people will say there are different priorities uh, than uh, looking at uh, you know uh, looking at a, a play or a, or a, or an exhibition or an art but i think um, with the numbers uh, that we will start sharing with our stakeholders, uh, um, reflect that the sector, the creative sector, is a sector like other sectors. It has accounting, it has HR, it has finance, it has artists, it has fashion designers, it has filmmakers, it is an industry. Therefore, you know, this is where it is crucial for us to uh, to look at how it's impactful, not just from the from the beauty side of it, but also the impact side of it. Uh, Sultan, um, I'm, I I was just swiping when 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 you were asking questions, so I I just wanted to see the you know who joined us today. I saw faces who I didn't see from ten years. Uh, I'm so touched to see Jennifer Fenton with us. Um, uh, it's, yes, hi Jennifer. Um, and yeah, and some of uh, wonderful artists and colleagues, ex-colleagues as well. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. And I can see also one of my interior designers, I'm not going to mention his name, <laughs> or I should mention his name. I have Tariq from TZ, we, we need to support artists. Hello, Abdesalam Haikal, I can see you. Oh, and Walter from ZU. Hello, Walter. Faisal Aliya, for a long time, no see. I'm sorry, I'm calling out name. Rashid, Rashid should sing for us. <laughs> Rashid should sing. Huh? No, Rashid is here. Hello, Manal Ataya. Hello, Ali Al Qasmi. Hi, Lubna Gurgawi. <laughs> Uh, Your Excellency. Uh, I'm sorry, Sultan. I I'm disrupting the whole kind no, of. No, no, it's all actually. Hal lahbat al awfawiya muhammad jiddan. So I will. Uh, I think I just didn't mention one last point before I ask you the final question. I think uh, Bill Bragan from NYU uh, Abu Dhabi uh, talked about something that we didn't mention much today, 
Yes, the economic impact of art is important, but also art is essential for mental health and community well-being. And this is something that we can, we should all uh, keep in mind that uh, it's one way of us to deal with this crisis that is uh, has taken over our lives. Uh, Your Excellency, my final question to you before I let you go is: Do you have any words of encouragement for? artists, freelancers, the creative community in the UAE, any words of encouragement you'd like to share with them before before we close? Sure, well, um, before closing, uh, number one, I would like to share with you, I, I wore a special t-shirt for today. Uh, I don't know if you can see what's written. Uh, we are so different now. Uh, it's by uh, Al-Ghazmi, uh, may uh, God rest his soul in peace. Um, and I wish Hur al Qasmi all the best of running such an important, um, you know, name for us and a label name and uh, a name that preceded how he felt with this T-shirt of how we are now. We are different now. It's our first time to witness, um, you know, such uh, such time. Uh, what I would like to. Um, Maybe I'm not sure if this I'm, I'm the right person to give an advice yet. We're all in it together. Um, it's, uh, it doesn't know who we are. It doesn't know where we come from or what status uh, we are. Um, for, I mean, and the most important thing is that we stay optimistic. Uh, I think we are. We can. You know, we are beautifying the world. The world around us from the music, from the art, from the books, from the literature, from uh, the, you know, the films, uh, the where, the, you know, uh, sharing the culture. I think it's, we do, we see such abundance. We see, I mean, we're in a time where we see Sir uh, Patrick Stewart running, uh, you know, uh, reading a sonnet a day, every day. I mean, I mean, we're, 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 we're witnessing beauty out of this. Um, and, and I want us to hold on the things that the beautiful things that we are now witnessing, how we're united in this, and how we to make sure that this is something that will even sustain more than the financial values of things. Um, I think we should really stick together. I think we should also do our best to uh, help one another. Uh, if there's any business in the UAE or any freelance in the UAE that is struggling, Please let us know. Um, uh, it's important uh, for us to look into ways where we support one another. Uh, I'm sure we're going to find a solution uh, for the next three to six months. Sooner than that, we're going to announce uh, how we're going to support the sector and how each local uh, also uh, government is supporting one another. Yet the morality uh, is, is, is the pinnacle here. I mean, how, how we feel. Uh, how we feel now and how we will feel later. Um, it's just uh, stay strong, uh, keep that smile, keep creating. Um, you know, it's just beautiful things come comes from uh, solitude. So, so it's um, it's it's times that we redefine the way we think. Uh, we, I will go back again. We we adapt and modify. So keep modifying because uh, you know after this we need we will we, I'm sure we're we're proud of ourselves, but. We want us to be really proud of ourselves when this pandemic is over. Um, Your Excellency Noura Mohamed Al-Kabi, UAE Minister of Culture and Knowledge Development, thank you so much for joining us. You heard it here. Uh, we are all in it together. Her Excellency says, stay optimistic. We are beautifying the world. Thank you all for all the work you are doing. Each one of you is, is so important that we keep uh, a positive outlook and inshallah we will come out even better and stronger. Thank you all for joining us and I'll see you again. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. Bye-bye.